coming up on the stage, as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be Spanky and Enigma. Spanky, originally Changed known as... Changed his name. Yeah, Changed his know. name, yeah. He was, <laughs> he was originally eSports king, but I respect him, man. You want to have a little more respect, uh, you know, keep it eSports. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, he's had a few names. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember one. Probably not appropriate for the stream, but yeah, no, that's awesome. Definitely, I know who he is, and uh, he uses Wolf now, which is really interesting. Um, have not get, got to see him play yet, but this is going to be cool to watch because I am a fellow friend of his as well. Yeah. So. And don't be oh. even, don't, don't, don't be scared about this color, man. It may look like Wolf, but he's rocking the fox. Hopefully, he makes this fox feel like Wolf here because he can do a lot of damage. And that's oh, I said Wolf. Sorry, yeah. Fox. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Fox, fox likes to wear Wolf's colors every now and then, kind of cheat the system. I honestly was just looking exactly like at him, but then I was looking somewhere else. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah, the, the color's definitely what, what it was. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Fox, nonetheless, still a good character in Ultimate as well. Yeah. And a lot of people are still keeping him around. Not just Wolf. <laughs> and, and it's crazy how the Spectrum has kind of towered between Larry, Lai, and ZD, right? Originally in Smash 4, Larry was the undisputed best Fox. And mm. Lai kind of took that over and took Fox to his own metagame now. Larry, kind of the master of having all three. Oh, yeah. That's what I like that. We're seeing so much... You know, diversity and even from the top of the players, they're trying out new characters. Um, and it's cool. It's cool to see Larry and other um, big names using different characters in this game, not only just Fox. And mm -hmm. hopefully, uh, you know, people aren't just going to keep on using Wolf. Like, for example, Tweak bringing out Young Link at the tournament yesterday, too. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. I love seeing different characters being utilized because I feel like everyone's viable in Ultimate. I'm definitely liking how Spanky is able to utilize this Fox a little bit, losing the first Dr. Enigma on the chase. One thing about Ivasaur, you gotta respect all the hitboxes, ah. and he gets the confirm off there with the up smash. Spanky kind of throwing out a little bit of his movement here to show uh, show off, and it's good. You gotta get that stock, feel the movement a little bit before you start defeating yourself. Dash attack into the up tilt, keeps it out there, but it's not gonna be able to get much afterwards. I like the fact that the name kind of went for an empty hop, looking to possibly feel an upper or a uh, downer there at the ledge. Keep your opponent in the know. Okay, and um, for Enigma too. We were seeing him earlier using a lot of um, Razor Leafs and then getting that up B from um, confirm at those higher percentages. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now it's actually interesting that he switched because I was noting there's a few options he wasn't utilizing. Oh, oh no, he got fistled. Yeah, that'll take the stock. Uh, with another thing that's so good to do with Ivysaur is to nair out a shield. Yeah. It's a safe option, and if you space it correctly, you kind of mix up um, what direction you're DIing in uh, to mix up your opponent, and it's really safe. Uh, oh. but there he goes. That's too good. The it's Razor Leaf into that up B there. Solid switch into the Charizard, and I kind of respect it. I mean, at that point, you want to go back to the ledge, reset yourself before your opponent can chase you down with Fox. It's kind of in a sticky situation here, but he's able to try to come back, and immediately release Mickey. Catch it. One of those Sorry. things, though, that switch costed him so much. You do suffer some end lag and some frames there from going for the switch. So you kind of have to respect when you make that option, especially going to the ledge. You're giving them so much stage control for a safe option when you should have been looking to see how you're going to survive Fox's exactly. burst options. But immediately, Enigma turning it up to 11 gets those out okay, and immediately like puts Mickey back into the ledge. He changed it up a little bit there. He just mm -hmm. did the Razor Leaf and then kind of turned around and did back air. Or, uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, no, yeah, he did his back air. So, probably going to try attempt maybe to go for a down air here. No, instead going for a down tilt at the ledge there. Uh, looks like he was kind of scared to go off stage. But, yeah. Chase this man Spank down with an air and get the up smash. Wasn't a, two, wasn't a, like it was at ninety five percent. That was pretty close. Yeah. So Enigma definitely can um, adapt to what spanking is spanking is doing here. And yeah. with this counter stage pick, he definitely can do it. He can do this next game and bring it back. I mean, if I were a better man, I would actually ban. Yo, she's on. We don't even need that stage anymore. I'm not gonna lie. That's the new Lila. <laughs> real, real talk. Real talk. Oh, it yeah, is the new Lila. No, like that's why you never see it, man. People just ban it. No one likes to play on it. And then there's wow. just every now and then those few players that know how to play on the stage, so they'll yeah. purposely like just pick it out of nowhere if somebody doesn't ban it. Yeah. But, uh, Dreamland. All right. I haven't seen I haven't anyone seen play on Dreamland in forever. I haven't seen Dreamland since Smash Four. I'm not gonna lie. Smash Four feels like forever. Yeah. No. It, it has. <laughs> honestly, we were just looking at. Uh, the Twitch viewers and Smash 4 has zero. It's just dead. <laughs> it's crazy. But all right. Smash 4 is dead, too. but Dreamland still lives here. And immediately we're seeing a low profile come out from Spanky. I'm sorry, from Enigma. Is this? Yes, it's right, FD yes, Dreamland. Yeah, FD Dreamland. I like it. And I like that he's getting different music here. Mm -hmm. We have so much music in this game. And it's nice if you just choose the stages. Mix up the music. It's great. 
Um, but all right, let's see how a Spanky, or excuse me, Enigma, they're swapped again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how Enigma will do now that he's on FD here. Uh, Fox can utilize those platforms. Okay. Here we go with the Razor Leaf again. Good option to, keep, uh, to bait your opponent to grab or to um, jump, for an mm -hmm. example. That's what you kind of want to do, right? Have your mm -hmm. opponent in a forced rule mindset. Okay, if he gets me with this, he's going to toss this out, so I have to go low. And then you feel like you start falling into your opponent's options. Possible Ooh. down air, and we see it confirm, that and the it. Firefox will not reach. And that was a good wait from Spanky as well mm -hmm. when he went off stage. He knew actually that timing really well for Fox's up B recovery there. It actually stalls itself for a bit, so that was good. And there's that uh, Nair out of shield we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. Pretty good option, right? Able to have multi-hits and even possibly just fast fall into it. Just able to come back on the mm -hmm. stage a little bit faster. Solid spacing with the back end. One of the things about Iowa City, you have to respect the mid range game, right? You have so many options, so many disjoints. A razor leap to able to confirm. You have to respect the Emblem Squirtle. You have to respect the speed, the damage options that he's able to have. Mm -hmm. But you gotta respect the classic Fox upper. That's the, kind of like the tournament winner there. Alright, good Nair. Looks like he just. Interesting, he didn't keep Squirtle out a little longer, but looks like he's feeling pretty comfortable with Ivysaur here. It's good because the way that he has, he has the projectiles to actually keep Enigma to go for a low option or a high option, right? He has that horizontal plane covered, mm -hmm. so that means he's forced to go high or low. And it's a good option. We even see Leffen sometimes when he used to use Pokemon Trainer. He still does, mm -hmm. of course. A little bit, yeah. But we even see him swap back to Ivysaur because he knows when it comes to the edge guard game, Ivysaur's kind of the master of it. Squirtle the master of putting on the damage really quick. Oh, yeah, I know. Squirtle likes to get those 0 to 50%. Then we usually will see Ivysaur come in, but um, there are a few players who do keep Squirtle out a little bit longer. I feel like he is uh, quick enough, too, to keep up with Fox. Wow, that's crazy confirmed from Fox that we're still seeing. <laughs> it ain't Smash 4, but we're still seeing... Uh, I mean, Nair also just combos into everything. We're still seeing the same stuff, which is crazy. Yeah. But I'm, I mean... And then, like you said earlier, right? Squirtle can keep up with Fox, but I mean, I was sort of having a bit of a tough time. He's not that fast. It's kind of like the sword character Pokemon trainer. That's the thing. He's a little slower. Sure, he has a projectile and stuff, but Squirtle's also able to keep up with Fox here. So that's why I mentioned it was a little interesting that we're only seeing uh, his Ivysaur for mm -hmm. most of the game because Squirtle also, I I feel like he is great. Please go but, low yeah, and please get out. Probably why he likes to stick, though, because you just get those down airs and that hitbox is insane. So. Yeah. And I talked about it earlier, right? He has that, that plane covered, so you force the low recovery, get the down air, GG's, free. give me game three. <laughs> yeah, literally, <laughs> literally, like, feels free. Like, oh, man, you went low? All right, free. Like, it's over. <laughs> and honestly, it's <laughs> so big. That hitbox is ridiculous. I saw the picture. It's just massive. But, um... That was actually good. That was a good counter pick stage. I mean, that's why I tell people. Enigma. I'm so sorry. That's why Not I tell problem. people. I, I feel like Pokemon trainers, Ivasaur and friends. Like, Ivasaur is really the leader of the pack. <laughs> yeah, Squirtle, Squirtle's right. there because he's cool. And I'm not going to lie, the fan service character is actually Charizard. Because you can't have Pokemon without Charizard. Man, you can't. But unfortunately, yeah, Charizard's so crusty in this game, man. Uh, like, that man extra crusty. Oh, uh, he's so crusty. And I'm like, I used him back in Smash for a bit, too. Let's have to Verum, though. Verum might get upset. Why? <laughs> <laughs> like... You gotta show Charizard some love. You yeah. know what I mean? You gotta have that dragon love out I here. I mean, you're, you're, you're a dragon lover. You're, oh, of yeah. course, check out check out your Twitter here, at Arisdale, yeah, lover of dragons, <laughs> is a lover of Ridley. Yo, I know. Yeah. Ridley's my boo. He's so cute. I call him cute. I know a lot of people don't agree, but, like, he's fun, and I love the Metroid okay. series. And yeah? He's great. He's great in this game, and... I'm always telling people, you think he's bad? Play me. Like, I, I don't <laughs> think he's bad. I think he's, Yo, I think he's mid high tier. Yeah, Charlotte he's makes good. that character look top tier over in Texas. Oh, he's he's crazy. I, I mean, I can't wait to commentate another Ridley match. I'll definitely be hyped for that. But all right. Going, seeing a character switch here too um, from Spanky going a Little Mac, which is really interesting because yeah. I was mentioning how I feel like everyone's kind of viable in this game, but I just feel like Little Mac is not one of those characters in Ultimate. Yeah, it is one of those things where viability and no ability can be really different because if you know, if you're not known to the matchup, how it works, even if your character is not viable, you can be messed up here, but immediately just using the Razor Leaf to make sure that mm -hmm. KO Punch goes away over time. I'm sorry, over just damage? It's really good. Gets the down air, waits for the landing miss. Grab up a 30 here. And we see Spanky oh. kind of go back to the... Uh, um, I'm sorry, we're seeing Enigma going back to a, a character he was really originally familiar with. I'm so sorry, man. The names have been changed and I'm kind of lost myself here. But <laughs> hey, man, we make it work. Don't even worry about it. I know, they're swapped, but yeah, Spanky is uh, the little Mac. Oof. 
So, yeah, it was interesting that we did see the, change, the swap because I feel like his Fox wasn't doing bad. It was probably just a stage pick from uh, the second game that yeah. really helped Spanky out as well. So, I don't know. This is interesting. Maybe he felt like he could take this game with Little Mac, give it a try. Um, but that's another thing, too. A lot of people probably aren't familiar with this matchup because no one uses Little Mac. They exactly. just haven't seen him in this game. And it's. Uh, you gotta watch out for that up combo up breaker there. Kind of like Zelda's neutral behind, huh? just something mm. to get out of combos. Exactly. Okay. Having a combo breaker in this game could be pretty big too, especially. So oh, yeah. the fact that Enigma is able to use that in the middle of a combo is really good. Gets the dash tag. He has a ledge here, so Smeki has to take his time. KO punch in range here. Gotta watch Ooh. out for him a little. She's gotta show some respect. He's searching for that up tilt too. Yeah. You know he wants it. Oh, okay. So he's racking up a little more percent, but he should if he gets one more hit. Oh uh, no, yeah. It's Slipped good. up a little bit there it's in the gone, ground. No. I think he could have landed it, but yeah. he wanted the extra damage. But I feel like it would have killed Ivysaur anyways. Ivysaur's not too chunky. Yeah. And it was really good that we saw Smakey actually just make sure he had the Raisin Leaf out because that's what killed the KO Punch the last time. Up tilt, you gotta watch out which moves you're getting hit by. We're talking about it, right? One of the worst characters in the game here, but so far Smakey having a tough time. Oh. And man, you have a tough time. You're able to recover like what? that. What? What was that reach? He was like... So negative low. down there and he just <laughs> okay he had the kiss of death right there and at that point the fact he was able to have the recovery that's the thing about Ivysaur his recovery is not that it's not that bad it's actually pretty good for it a tether as well yeah yeah you know, sometimes it's a little awkward though and it like misses yeah it, it's like really weird and it'll like miss the ledge but mm -hmm. then other times you're like in the blast zone and some, like, you're, you're about to die but then it reaches it's not, crazy. Not gonna, oh that will actually kill is that be still strong in this game all right yeah and like we talked about it earlier, right, you have to watch out for it in the neutral because if you are getting comboed, you can use it as a combo breaker and immediately just trying to get out. I talked about it earlier, right? There's a combo breaker. We are suffering the lag after you go for it. And immediately Smakey going into town with a combo. And yeah. it's good because, you know what, at this point, Enigma is kind of having it even with Squirtle. Squirtle is one of the top three largest characters in the game. So if you can't take Squirtle to at least to the ledge for 50% or more, you could be looking at an even game here, but I mean, that's what we kind of see Smakey switch to the Ivysaur. KO Punch on deck. If Enigma can clutch it out, this could be big. And he's looking for it. There's a Charizard. Probably the bad switch here. Wait. Wait, couldn't he have just drawn his K-Punch right then and there? Oh, uh, but he kind of slipped up. I feel like he got a little bit scared. Yeah. And he saw him go, he saw him go to the ledge. He wanted to be careful. Man, yeah, he panicked a little bit there. Yeah. He should have been able that's, to throw that that's out. That's actually it. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that's it. GG's no re- and that'll be the game. Was a good try from Enigma, bringing mm -hmm. his secondary. Maybe he felt like he could do it, but I feel like that's also, in my, in my opinion, I just feel like that's not the best matchup, um, especially for Little Mac. Yeah. Um, I mean, just oh, Ivysaur could get those down airs for his recovery options, and like, Squirtle there's three that. characters in one. Squirtle's going to have that.